Good morning, 8th of December, right? Yes, 8th of December. Seven. Good morning, good morning. Seven. I feel eight, so eight, much eight. better, guys. Like yesterday, yo, that flu had me like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, it's good. But I feel so much better. I'm ready for another day. So this morning, we're heading off to Mutare. We need to buy some supplies as well as look for some fabric, some errands for the hotel, and then get um, just top up on our personal groceries. So that's what we're doing today. So we're going to head there now. We need to be in Mutare by 7.30. So yeesh, we need to rush. It's quarter past seven now. Um, it takes exactly two hours for us to drive there. So yeah, we need to get there quickly. But otherwise, yeah, I'm not going to film the, the journey as usual. You guys have seen that before. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get to Mutare. We've arrived in Mutare now. Um, Chongs has... Uh, just popped into the bank. I ain't going to the bank. It is hot as heck in there. The queues are insane. So I thought I might as well just wait in the car and eat something because I haven't eaten on the way because obviously I do get a motion sickness on the road. So I try not to eat on the way. Yeah, bacon and egg as usual. But yeah, we have a lot to do today. So we have a meeting with our landlords at the shop. So we have to do that. Then we also need to look for some fabric for the hotel. And then our personal shopping. I think that's about it. And then Chunks just has some supplies we need to pick up. We're hoping to repaint some parts of the hotel next week. So we need to just get paint quotations and everything. Hopefully pick up some of that paint. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping we can finish quickly and we can be home by bedtime. For some reason, I'm really missing MJ today like really really like i played with him in the morning and everything before he left but for some reason today i'm just like oh i'm really missing him so yeah i'm praying we can get home before bedtime by some miracle so i can see him before he sleeps but anyway yeah so that's what we're working on today so it's just like welcome back morning vlog morning vlog mash how was the bank bank was good you know sometimes you have to just talk to people and say please 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 can i cut the queue you're withdrawing. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, and to you know, call in, call in uh, the operations manager and a yes, few other man. people to just pull rank, you know. <laughs> Tell them we're in a rush, man. We're business, That's man. Corruption, man. It's not corruption. It's it's, it's corporate to be banking. Fair, you're not I'm a corporate, anyone. yeah. And it's not it's not me. I'm not a I'm not a normal person, you know. Is it? I'm anyway. a corporate. I'm a corporate. Okay. It must be nice. But yeah, so, okay, done with that. Now time to go for a meeting. Ooh, Did you call her? Yeah, yeah, she's right there now. Okay, cool. See you guys soon. Bye. Guys, look at Mutare CBD today. Woo! People cutting us off. People cutting us off. Mutare, I, honestly, one of the most beautiful cities in Zimbabwe. It's beautiful, it's clean, it's well organized. I love it. It's packed with people. Oh, it's not packed with people. Harare is packed with people. No, no, this no, is Harare beautiful. Is Meeting done. So now we're gonna head over to downtown Mutare. There's yeah. some fabric that we need to find. That's what we're doing next. Yeah, we need to get fabric. We need to just go and also drop off some quotations for paint. So let's drop off the quotations first. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna drop off the paint quotations first and then go and look for fabric. This guy. <laughs> oh, this is Tell us what did you do? He's gonna look at me. Look, he's looking at me. Okay, I'm gonna, don't make eye contact. Don't make I'm eye contact. I'm gonna film it's the it. Driver. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Guys, Chuck's trying to do some fast and furious. Oh no, I should have gone straight. <laughs> oh no. No, but it was oncoming. No, was I was going to go here instead of turning here. I was going to go like that. Anyway, Chuck's was doing some fast and furious whipping. <laughs> Chuck Gonyet, oh, cut this Gonyet off. Oh, one turn left. Found out he's got the wrong way, so now he had to do the U-turn of shame and pass the same Gonyet. What's the same truck is like? Sorry. Yes, yeah, so it's stupid. Zongu, where do you go? Sorry, this is awkward. Okay, now I'm ah, back. I could have waited. No, but what is that first thing? Tell me, how did I feel at the moment? Cutting off the truck. Oh, no, really what? good. Like weaving between Gonyet and me. Just me. Off the sidewalk or something. <laughs> Only to go and turn the wrong way. Then after, it's the problem is the U-turn. Having to U-turn and pass so these trucks nice. again. <laughs> at a normal speed of 60 kilometers an hour after that stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a laugh today. I had a laugh. Oh, it was thrilling in the moment. Fast and furious. It was no. Furious. It was really furious. cool furious. when he did it. Fast and furious. 
It was so cool when he did it, but when he had to slow down and you turn after it, it was so. I tried to solve it, just like, no, I've gone the wrong way. But I refused to meet those guys again. He turns right to did it. Someone's drive for you. So you swear to go back. Till you drove past. <sighs> just drive like a normal person. I think that's that's our lesson for today. So the kids, there you go. Don't, this is not fast and furious, okay? It's not a movie. It's, it's not, not a movie. This is not, a movie. It's it's not, not a movie. TV. Just it's drive real life. normally. It's real life. Follow the road rules. Don't get you know, That's That's all I have to say. No, guys, the Luna Park is still here. I don't know if it's operating. I don't think so. I don't think it's safe. I want to go on the shelves. It's not safe. It's still here. Why are they hoarding it in Mutare? It's not safe. Here at the new lecture sales in Mutare. Look, guys, I really like this tub. This is very nice. Decide we're still gonna come back here. So we go for now. Yeah, let's go for now. I, I would rather do the fabric and stuff as some of this stuff is easy to picking and going. Oh. As opposed to the fabric which needs shopping, you know. So let's I think I've just left this quotation, so let's see if they're done. If they're not, I'll come back and get it. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Guys, the new electro sales in Mutale is very nice and they're actually really affordable. Uh, yeah, next time you're in Mutare, please stop by this electro sales. It's very like I love hardware stores are, are for some reason. Electro sales, like I am promoting electro sales. What are they giving you? They give me nothing. What are they actually <laughs> giving you? But yeah, no, it's really nice. Just go and see what I go and see. It's very, very nice. The way they've set up the shop is very nice. Yes, Mama. Which baby is gonna drink out of a glass bottle? Hmm? Paraffin. Guys, I just stumbled upon the most amazing shop. It's called Celentis. It's a China shop um, downtown. I don't know what road I'm on, but I need to show you guys. Like the stuff is so cheap. So I got this. I needed a new toilet brush. These things gross me out, but I think this is like a dollar ninety. Um, actually, let me just get the receipt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the toilet brush was 90 cents sorry 90 cents for the toilet brush then i got this little dinner set so mj loves cutlery like he loves forks in particular he loves like stabbing his food and yeah because he's he's noticed that grown-ups use forks so now he really loves forks. so i got him this little set it's got like a bowl a plate a spoon and a fork this one was a dollar 20. i'm so excited guys i got him crayons as you can see, like I said, MJ is on my mind today. I'm missing him, so everything is MJ here. Got him some crayons. These crayons were dollar something. I can't remember. Anyway, they were dollar something, but they weren't that expensive. Got him crayons. These pegs, we needed pegs, 50 cents each. Got this spoon thing. I needed a dishing spoon for home. Um dishing spoon this was a dollar thirty dollar thirty for this one and then got mj another little toothbrush yeah this was 20 cents guys i'm so excited like yeah clearly mj mj is on my mind then also got him okay so there's a poster there with like colors that's for mj as well so yeah guys i'm so excited my we had the best stuff you guys your kitchen stuff your pot they had like these walks um listen i'm not vouching to say the original walks or whatever but they had these walks and they're like three four bucks Ooh. guys i found my new spot hey like whenever i come to mutare all my kitchen things i'm buying them here because you'll buy like a set of like a mug will be something like 40 cents or 50 cents really really cheap yeah but i love this little toothbrush for mj he was due and crayons so here's the thing mj hates coloring at the moment for him to sit and focus on coloring is really difficult for him i don't know why it's a lot he gets very very angry for some reason and if i try and make him color sorry i'm just gonna open the windows because wow i'd shut them because of noise 
but wow, it's hot. Anyway, so yeah, I got him these colors. He really hates coloring, guys. Like, it really makes him so mad when I sit and color with him, whether it's I'm making him color or if I color near him, it gets him very angry for some reason. So I just bought them. Like, maybe he'll come around to it maybe eventually. So yeah. And then this dinner set. I'm so excited. The one thing he will not use is the sippy cup. Simply because MJ has hated sippy cups since he was like eight months old. So when so MJ used to suffer from chronic constipation. So I would try and give him things like apple juice and would give him like in a sippy cup and he hated it for some reason. He wanted water but would give him apple juice and he hated it. So since then, when he was like eight months, seven, eight months, he's hated sippy cups with a passion. And he's never used them since he learned how to drink water by himself out of a cup. He can't stand them. I don't know why. He hates it. <laughs> so yeah, I think, but if we take the, the sippy cup attachment off, I'm sure he'll be fine. But yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Here he comes with the goods. Tell me good news, sir. Yeah. Yay. They don't have steak. They don't have steak and kidney. No. <laughs> Sorry, Pai. There's no steak and kidney today. <laughs> okay. So, pepper steak. Yeah. You're hungry, huh? Yeah. Are we full meat? Huh? No. Do, do <laughs> okay. you have any? Huh? Yeah, it's still real. I'm seeing hangry chunks. Guys, let me tell you something about my husband. My husband doesn't function well when he's hungry. He gets very angry, hot. Very hot. irritable. Guys, this is the hottest pie I've ever come across. Again, it's got those metal things, you yeah. know. That metal thing. I'm gonna have to park it for a bit. It's actually typing one. You can't even touch the metal. I'll eat that a bit later. Guys, this thing is so hot and I'm so hungry. Chunks is pushed through. I don't even know how like i don't like like hot 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 food but yeah anyway you can see it's good pie guys this is how packed the car is look at that what's wild is we haven't even done our personal shopping for home but we're not getting that much just like meat some dairy products and everything just to top up but yeah like you can see the car is completely packed. This is what it's like whenever we come to Machale. I'm exhausted. Like, I'm so tired. But yeah, I think we're just going to buy our stuff, get something for dinner, and go home. Oh, look at these. So pretty. Say hi. hi. Hello. <laughs> okay. It's a lot later now. We still have not left Mutale. We're actually leaving now. It's another late this one. Hour. It's another late one. Two hours. 7.30. So obviously I've missed bedtime, which sucks. But anyway, I'll see MJ in the morning. So anyway, yeah. about to start the two hour drive back to Chimani. So I'll see you guys when we get back. Why are you smiling? <laughs> Why are I, you smiling? I don't know how to start. Oh my um, word. Why are you smiling? Guys. Huh? Be grateful for life. I don't even know. I don't even have the energy with which to tell the story of what just happened. Do you have <laughs> our brakes just Guys, went out. We just lost our brakes. Brakes gone after the toll gate. We're driving, and then you know you hear like a <laughs> like sound under the car, like like something's come I, loose. I thought we'd hit something because yeah. I felt it like on my side. It? Yeah, it felt like we went we ran over something. Uh. And but then that's when Chong said the statement, you never ever want to hear a driver <laughs> say, what did you say, Chong? What did I say? My brakes are gone. What did I say? My brakes are gone. Okay? He said the words, my brakes are gone. Do you guys understand what <laughs> it's like to drive with no brakes? Moving and at 80k About 80k hour. is going downhill. It's going downhill. Approaching a bridge. Approaching a bridge, yeah. Thank, thank God for life, guys. Very <laughs> guys, you have the moments but like even this. in this, guys, I see the end of Jesus because it does not even make any sense. If I'll just show you where we're parked, like, yeah, yeah. a meter down, it like goes, it's a sheer drop into a river. And if you guys can hear that, those are frogs Close from like the river. The river. We stopped just before the bridge. 
Like literally Chong says to me, my brakes are gone. And I'm like, okay, stay straight. It's changed my, down. My stellar wife told me to change it. Yeah, Start changing down. down. Ch- I had my hand brake ready, but obviously I wasn't going to pull it because if you pull it, the you car... You flip. Yeah. So you just take it easy and navigate. So I was like, no, stay straight. Change down. Change yeah. down. Guys, thank you, Jesus. And it was like a curve coming down. <sighs> so many problems with this car. Um, yeah. But anyway, Please pray let's... for a new car for us, guys. Yeah, I think... Because I think this has to be the most terrifying thing that has ever happened in this yeah, car. And all the other things that of have happened. All the ways we've broken down the radiators, whatever. The rocker the shaft. Rocker shaft oh, like, man. whatever. Long this breakdown. has, you know, we've had a lot of breakdowns. This has been the most terrifying. Yeah, After we stopped the think... car, I was shaking. Mm. I wanted to cry because mm. I was shaking. In the moment, I was calm because I'm just that person. I don't freak out mm. in the moment. But, ah, uh, guys. On a side note, we've got ice cream, you, uh, meat. Do you see how this car's loaded? We've got all kinds of things in the car that, yeah. On, anyway. the, on the plus side, we're not going to starve. Yeah. <laughs> we can eat until we... So until now we've called... The mechanic to come the out. The mechanic to come yeah. from Mutare. Probably take him about... And uh, the ops manager from the hotel is going to drive from the hotel this way. No, if he comes all this way and then... He can take some he stuff. He can take some stuff at least. Yeah. At least Just, the fresh yeah, stuff. Yeah, let him take that stuff. The meat. Yeah. Guys, anyway. Guys. So afterwards, took time. We're like, let's just pray yeah. and thank God. Because this could have gone south in so many different yeah. ways. But we are sitting here vlogging at this moment because of the hand of God. Guys, if this doesn't turn you to Jesus, I, I don't know what will mm. because it was terrifying. I, like I'm saying, of all the things to happen, I think this and like a tire blowing yeah, are the most terrifying yeah, things yeah. that can ever happen when you're in a car. In you terms know, that's of that's, that's one of the things I was thinking about when I heard that sound. I was like, is it a tire? What else? I, like, I no. also thought it might have been a but tire. But I was like, no, these tires are solid. And the thing is, when a tire goes, that's why I actually slowed down. Because that's happened to you before. Yeah, or well, it didn't blow, but it it just... It came off. It, it, came, <laughs> off. <laughs> it started, came off. Just clean came no, off. No, guys, and... <laughs> You know, you're driving, at least that was now, that was in town or whatever, but still, yeah. I was going about 40, 45 k's an hour. Yeah. And then you, see, you just see this thing going, ping, 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 off into the distance. And you're I'm like, like, what is no, that? The thing is, you look at it, and you look at it, you see the rim, and you're like, that looks like my, and <laughs> the moment you see the tire, and this is like a jokish type thing, but yeah. the moment you notice if that it's your tire, second, that's when the like, car goes, is oh. that my, <laughs> yeah. is that my, when you be go, oh, you know. yeah, but anyway, guys, just, thankful for life just just be thankful for life guys i'm so grateful thank you chongs for keeping a cool head in that time because that was really 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 scary and the worst thing is because the car is so heavy it's like loaded. stopping yeah, a car yeah. like because the thing is going down now is. and there's so much in the and car and everything is just pushing you this way yeah, it was so really much, scary yeah. shout out to the frogs over there like oh, literally froggisto. just before a river just a few meters out my window yeah. there's like a sheer drop <laughs> But anyway, we just thank God. At the end of the day, that is all we do. We thank and praise God yeah. for his mercy. We are still here. So, honestly, this night did not turn out. How I thought, those of you who have thought that my vlogs have been boring, there you go. There's some action for you there. I don't know what's going to happen from here. But anyway, I'm going to keep yeah. you guys posted. Let's see. Let's, Let's see, how see what happens. Go. But anyway, yeah. Okay. Hello, we've arrived finally. Um, we're staying at Manika Skyview tonight. Um, yeah, let me give you guys a quick room tour while we're here. So you walk through the door immediately to your right. There's a like little kitchenette, which is nice. Um, best believe I'm, I'm, I'm doing that right now. Then you walk in and there's like a lounge. So from what I can see from this hotel, I think it was once like flats that they then converted into a hotel. So this, I suppose, is like the one-bedroom flat. You walk through here. There's a toilet there. You, you know, I heard running water. I was like, please don't be peeing right now during my room tour. <laughs> a shower. A bathtub. All the toiletries we own. <laughs> And 
the bedrooms. This is it. Very nice, clean, beautiful. Yo! What a day, guys. What a day. I cannot describe to you right now how tired I am. But I'm grateful. Honestly, like, an experience like this has just been such a good reminder of how life is so short for me. And, or for anybody, I suppose. And just God's grace and everything. To me, that's all I see. Some people see a bad situation. I just see the hand of God, guys, because things should have ended very differently today. But here we are. So, yeah, we're here. Chunks wants to take a shower. I wouldn't mind taking a shower. I'll, I'll take a bath, but I'm afraid to drown because I'm so tired. Why would you drown? I'm so tired. Once I sit down. I haven't slept this late in a long time. But anyway, yeah. I think I'm going to go. Oh, obviously, usually I'd end the vlog here, but I'm going to just combine it with tomorrow's vlog. And you guys will just get one long vlog. So, yeah. Anyway, I think we're going to head to bed. We do not own any toiletries. I was telling Chongs we don't even have toothbrushes and he says we have MJs. <laughs> Why don't we just watch? We don't even, like, I don't, I can't take my contact lenses out because I don't have any solution. I don't have any way to keep them. I think tomorrow morning the first thing we need to do is buy toiletries. Where are buying toiletries? You'll run to the shops. You want to brush them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brush, bath, roll on. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Be a long anyway, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Yo, I slept like <laughs> ah, you know when you sleep so hard, you wake up stiff because you just have not been turning over because you literally shut down and you have not moved. That is how I slept last night. I slept so hard. Um there's just something about sleeping in a hotel, man. I love it. I always say I just sleep differently and I sleep very, very hard. It was weird not waking up to hear da da from across the house. But yeah, um Tabo went to stay with MJ. Um he says MJ's fine, so that's good. Um right now I've asked Chunks to just go to pick and pay to get us some toiletries so we can at least brush our teeth and bath and everything and be fresh. Um Chunks had another random shirt so i think i'll wear that today um here's tmi i i washed my hips last night so they're dry so at least that's fine <laughs> it's about as fresh as we're going to get today but yeah i just i think it this would have been nice had it been planned but anyway it was a good opportunity i really think i was just very very exhausted and you guys know how i've been wanting to say i want to stay at a hotel so it worked out in its own way but yeah trying to see if we can get a late checkout because the mechanic has to start working on the car but what are we going to be doing while he's doing that you know what i mean you can't just be roaming the streets of hotel so yeah chunks is going to speak to the manager see what he can organize and yeah we're going to order breakfast in a bit after we bath though i think guys i smell so bad you can imagine after the heat yesterday after all that sweating like yesterday ah yeah yeah guys mm -mm. after all that sweating in the car and then not being able to like bath and yeah, scrub yourself nicely i really feel quite gross but anyway when tongues comes back with stuff i think things are a little bit better just have them bath get some roll on brush my teeth pop a soap give it a scrub give like give myself a good scrub yeah but i feel i feel tired but yeah i think i, I crushed it hard okay i've bathed i feel a lot fresher yeah, it was just, I was feeling so crusty. But anyway, um, Chong's managed to get us some toothpaste, a toothbrush, at least that's better. Took a good shower, he got us some loofahs as well. I would have preferred a face towel, but they didn't have any at Pick and Pay. So anyway, he got us like loofahs. Managed to take a bath, I feel clean, I feel fresh. Sure, <laughs> I feel fresh. Uh, and yeah, I'm still a bit tired, but yeah, I think we're going to have breakfast now. I'm just going to show you guys what they brought us up for breakfast. We didn't go down, and we got room service because I my shirt that i'm wearing is not like hotel restaurant friendly um it's just one of chunks's old extra shirts he, like when he travels he just carries a random extra shirt so it's just one of those you know those home shirts so I, I wouldn't feel very comfortable so yeah that's done but anyway let me show you what i'm wearing this is the extent of my skincare today guys this, this is it okay i always travel with sunscreen so at least that worked out 
my Vaseline, a lotion from the hotel, and my new toothbrush and my new shower cap. So, yeah, <laughs> this is this is what it is. We need to be checking out quite soon. Um, I'm gonna try and open the curtains in here. It's very dark for some reason. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna have to check out soon. The latest checkout we can get is eleven. So now we just kind of have to figure out what we're gonna do with ourselves until we actually can you know so i don't know let's open up the curtains in here yeah so let me show you guys what's for breakfast so we just asked for everything from the buffet now i'm seeing it's way too much food we've got some yogurt here i think this should be cerevita not choco melt thank goodness <laughs> there's some bread looks like i've got some eggs bacon potatoes we've got quite a spread here some juice They've got a little tea station in the kitchen, so we're gonna go and make tea from there. This is the tea station. I request they bring me back some, bring up some Tenganda tea. I don't really like free coffee. I like Jacobs, and I don't drink this. So yeah, I'm anyway, just gonna have um, some breakfast now, and we'll take it from there. Oh, I'm just sitting on the floor because I love to sit on the floor. If you don't know by now, I really love sitting on the floor. Oh, here comes Charles. You can hear by the shoes. Right. Oh, you vlog, yeah? Yes. Are you <laughs> Yes. Okay. I'm vlogging my breakfast. You've had an exciting morning. Oh, me? Come and tell us what you've been up to. Should I sit down in front of the camera? Um, ideally. Okay. Ideally. Can I sit here? Yes, you can. Oh, you can't see me. Yeah, you can. Okay. Hello. Let me just move you guys around. Okay. What are we saying? Talking about the morning. Um. Sorry. So. Just you again. I left my bank card or the company bank card at Pick and Pay last night. Um. Do you want some tea? Uh, yeah, I'll make some. So. And don't make it to the camera. I'm talking. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I left my bank out of pick and pay and I went back and I got it this morning, thank god. So it also helps that we spent the night. I don't know who else would have been there. Or I just had to get a new one. Anyway, bank card done, managed to pick up a few toiletries because we got nothing. Uh, mechanics just come to get the car, so he says he should be done in about an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. Yeah, Charles, yeah, and that's what I've ten. So maybe we might not be homeless when we get kicked Before out. Before we get kicked out <laughs> into the abyss <laughs> to roam the streets of Mutare like vagabonds. Right. Breakfast time. <laughs> I decided not to sit on the floor. But guys, this is way too much food. Like if they could have just halved all this because ah I can't I'm not even gonna do bread, I'm not gonna do cereal, I'm not gonna no, do any no, of that. No. It's too much. Okay, so it's uh, about 10 to 11, and we just got a call from the front office uh, asking if we're extending our stay. Because <laughs> uh, late checkout is 11 o'clock, so get out, get out. Um, yeah, but um, so I'm yeah, going to go downstairs, check out, and then give Robert a call, see if he's done with the car, and then, yeah, hopefully if that's all done, there's not much else we need to do in Mutare. If the car's done... Make sure there's fuel in it and we just get back to Chimanamani. I think the sooner we get home, the better. Um, yeah, it's been a bit exhausting, but at least, yeah, we've managed to make the most of it. Um, yeah, out of the hotel room. Time up. So we've checked out. Uh, actually, we're just going to roam the streets, Hi, but our mechanic offered good, to come pick uh, us up morning. so that we can yeah, wait uh, whilst he's sorting out the car. So, to yeah, we're just going to go and meet him at Eat and Lick. And then, yeah, he's gonna come get us. Uh, How are you feeling? I'm good. I don't want to buy anything. Just want me to buy water. But lots of water. Guys, I really am that person who fails to sit in a place that I've been for anything. Like for me, it's I think it's one of the most cringeworthy things. Like I just, I like almost die from embarrassment. I feel like I'm like sponge in all the place. I, I forced him to buy water, even though we have water in the bag. But I just, I can't, I cringe so hard. I just don't like it. <laughs> Okay.
okay cars all sorted now um we hope it's done i'm so tired guys it's just been such a long experience and a long two days but yeah we'll just pick up a few things before we hit the road uh we need to just get one pipe a plumbing pipe for the hotel and then just some baskets that i wanted to get for the hotel as well and then we can finally head out i'm so tired i just want to go over and see my baby i haven't seen him in like 24 hours and that's a lot for me so yeah i'm really tired it's really hot already i'm like roasting in the sun um, i'm not sitting in the front seat because i mean it's hot there's a lot of sunshine there but yeah anyway it's almost time to head home there's some random guys fighting across the road <laughs> to act like i don't like this but you know you're low-key like What do you want sugar for? Sugar. Hi, we're back home now. Yeah, overdue. Feeling really, really tired. Um, naturally, there's no zesla, of course. But anyway, ah, that's done. Just put you down. Um, yeah, we're done. And there's good chance Shim had to run off for a 5 30 meeting, so he's exhausted, but he's had to go. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's good to be home. I think I'm gonna end this one here. We've had enough drama, guys. We're done. This is going to be for vlog 8 and 9. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.